Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. I uh, hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, today it's a little cold. Uh, the high today is 57. Has been in the upper 60s and lower 70s for the last couple weeks, so it's a little bit chilly. And it's been raining all morning. Now you can't hardly tell it was raining because the sun is out. Um, sky is all blue and actually turned out to be a nice day. So, But yes, the title is true. I am selling out. As you guys know, I started this entire YouTube channel based around bottle calves and that's what I've been doing for the last three years, at least here on YouTube. Um, that's what I've been showing and I know that's what a lot of you guys subscribed for. But as I've mentioned in other videos, I am trying to slowly get away from bottle calves. Um, yes, it is profitable. I have been profitable basically since I started, but there are better ways to make money on the farm and so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, for the next couple years. So bottle calves is where I was starting just to get enough capital together to eventually buy more beef cows and to increase that side of the operation. And besides beef cows, sheep is also in my future, hair sheep. I'm looking at Katahdin's or St. Croix. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm headed. That's the direction I'm going. Bottle calves was kind of just a way to get going and get started. So as you guys know, this last group I raised another 40. 40 head bottle calves, about 18 or 19 heifers, and the rest are bulls. I sold the bigger steers a couple months back, and um, I never gave you guys a profit or loss video because I wanted to sell all of my animals so I could actually get an, a good estimate of how much I made or lost. Last year, when I raised another 40, um, I ended up keeping 18 heifers, uh, two of which weren't bred. Um, so that brought me down to 16. Anyway, so I kept those as beef cows and I was planning on keeping this group of bottle calf heifers as beef cows as well. But I've had some other opportunities here recently and uh, I have since decided to sell all of my bottle calves and I will be out of the bottle calf business for the foreseeable future. So the main reason I'm not raising bottle calves anymore, um, I would love to, I would love to keep raising bottle calves, but um, I do have to have a full-time job, and my full-time job right now, uh, my schedule is all over the place. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna be. I'm gone sometimes a week at a time. Yeah, it's not ideal for raising bottle calves. I'd have to have some hired help or someone to come and fill in when I can't be here, which would not be ideal. Um, so that's why I'm not raising bottle calves anymore. Um, my full-time job just really does not allow it. And the reason I have decided to sell the rest of my heifers, and I think there's eight steers, um, the reason I've decided to sell them is because I do have some other investment opportunities. It is farm related, so you guys will see those videos here later. Um, but um, just to free up some capital, I decided to I decided I need to sell these, and there's some better things I can put my money into rather than these half dairy um, heifers here. So right now, you guys are going to see me sort the ones I'm going to keep. And I think I ended up keeping seven, and that's just because one, she looked like a straight dairy. Um, she's built like a dairy cow, so I knew if I took her to the sale barn, she would get docked really heavy. So I decided that one I better keep. There were two black white face heifers that I just, they had more beef to them than dairy, so I decided I might as well give them a chance. Um, then there was one heifer, she's missing an eye. Once again, at a sale barn, she might bring three or four hundred dollars, and I'd be losing money there or I could turn her into a beef cow and she could actually raise a calf for me every year. So, uh, then the other one, she had a white blaze and a white tail and white stomach. Uh, once again, she looks dairy and I don't want her to bring 400 bucks even when she weighs five or 600 pounds. So, then of course I kept the two that looked like jerseys. Those are steers. One we're going to keep for us as beef and the other one I'm going to sell to someone when they're 1200 pounds. Um, and they can have them for beef as well. So uh, once again, the ones I'm keeping back, they're the misfits that won't bring much at an auction and I can make more money just keeping them here and either butchering them or keeping them as beef cow. So guys, let's get to sorting some calves. Mm -hmm. 